Mornings. The best of the morning X. 99.9. The following content is for adult audiences. Let's take it to the land of sex and sin. Dennis Hoff owns the Bunny Ranch in Carson City, Nevada. That is where, my friends, you can go and pay to have sex with people. This is uh, legal there. There is legal. There are legal bordellos in the United States. And uh, I don't know if they're all in Nevada. Is it? Dennis, is is it only in Nevada where this is legal? And only certain parts of Nevada. Hang on a minute. Are you on a speakerphone? Speaker yep. Uh, you want me to change phones? Yeah, it yeah. sounds a little like hollow. A, like you're in a well. Okay, let me let me change phones here. Hang on, just you a can second. actually. I think some of the phones now have a thing where you can actually put it up to your ear and talk into it. <laughs> <laughs> let me let me try it. Let me try it here. I'm, well, you're all right I'm, now. I'm in a hotel room. You're okay right now. I'm okay now. Yeah. Just okay, great. Before, it sounded like you were in the bathroom. Oh, well, you know what? I'm okay. How, how about now? Is it okay? There you go. Yeah, I'm in a, I'm in a hotel, and uh, actually, uh, I had a wild light night last night. I was out with the monkeys, uh, hanging out with them backstage. And oh, then, uh, yeah. Uh, these guys like to party a little bit. Yeah, I was uh, surprised. One of the celebrity sleaze stories that came out when the monkeys were here last, was it a couple of weeks ago, was there were uh, sightings of Peter Tork leaving the venue in a pickup truck with some young 20-something year old. <laughs> well, good for good for Peter. I didn't know that, but I I took uh, listen to the crew I took out last night with me, uh, Ron Jeremy, Joy Buttafuoco, <laughs> nice and, crew. And and Penn Gillette from Penn and Teller, we all went and saw the monkeys and hung out backstage afterwards. Now, hey, I got a question. Why yeah. is Joey Buttafuoco still getting the celebrity treatment? Why is he, he hanging out he with was, He's a Vegas celeb. Come I on. Thought, well, wait a second. I thought he was working at the Bunny Ranch. Well, you know, he's going gonna, he's gonna to be a celebrity bartender. There. Everybody seems to want to be a celebrity bartender there. You know, Penn wants to come out and do it one weekend. Joey wants to do it. Uh, in fact, we had, uh, yeah, the, everybody. And uh, so I don't know what it is about that. I guess they want to just hang around with the girls or something. Can you talk about the menu there at the Bunny Ranch? Hey, we do everything. We got a full sex guide. You know, it's the only place in the world where you can come and have sex with your favorite porn star, Playboy Playmate, Penthouse Pet, or Hustler Honey. How nice. And yeah, yeah, it's, it's great. You, you guys actually hire adult film stars to come out and work the ranch for a weekend, or whatever. They come right? out and make appearances there, just like they come to the big, you know, the cabarets and stuff where you're at. In fact, some of the girls that work in the cabarets in Atlanta come down and, and work at the Bunny Ranch too, uh-huh. and um, uh, they they make appearances. And their fans come in from all over the country, and it's it's the time to fulfill your fantasy. I mean, if you've had a fantasy of having sex with a big porn star, you've watched their Ooh. movies. Just come to the Bunny Ranch, and that's where it all really. Happens. Leslie was just expressing just that feeling that. to me uh, a little while ago. What's well, the who most would Leslie expensive? like to party with? Because maybe she's there right now. We'll call her. Hey, what's the most expensive package you got? Well, I, I've seen that. What happens is usually you get the girls that are the big, the A-list stars or the or the Playboy playmates and things like that. They they get a lot of money, but you know what? It's worth it. What to fulfill a fantasy like that to, to spend a thousand or two thousand dollars? They, they you know it's worth it. It's a thousand uh, or two thousand a bag of playmates. Yeah, I mean, you can you can party with girls for as little as a couple hundred to a couple thousand. A couple hundred would be like b- bottom of the barrel price. No, right? actually, some beautiful girls that come in from all over the country. You know, we have 250 girls that no, work No, no, I just us. mean like the... The cheapest you're going to get out of there is a couple hundred bucks. A couple hundred bucks, exactly. Okay. And, uh, and but that, that's the reality. When you legalize something, the prices come down. I mean, you don't, we don't have to worry about the police. Uh, the only thing the police do is come in and eat food and hang out with us. Well, listen, they, you know, people who have been uh, for drug legalization have been saying that for years. Absolutely, and, that, and that's the reality. You know, we've got a 17-year history of mandatory checks with no, no sexually transmitted diseases at all. There's no criminal element, and I mean, you walk in with your credit card and don't leave home without it, and come in and, and you le- get whatever you want. But on the credit card uh, statement that you get at the end of the month, I'm guessing it doesn't say Moonlight Bunny Ranch on it, Actually, right? it's billed as a cash advance. We have a company called Cash Advance. See, because you don't want the WIFE to see that. Well, you know, okay. that, that's exactly right. But, you know, it, what's happening in the new millennium, we're getting more wives coming in there. A oh, lot of on. couples come in there and couples. party, and, uh, you know, that's, that's turned into a turned into into a big thing now is is a, is the couples coming together. Mm-hmm. We're talking to Dennis Hoff. Dennis, uh, would you say that you have more politicians that come through, musicians, or actors? 
We have we have them all. You know, the politician. We can't talk about a lot of them, but one we can is Jesse Ventura. Right. Jesse lost his virginity at my place, and God bless Jesse. And uh, you know, he he likes the Bunny Ranch, and he wrote about it in his book, and. Uh, made some very nice comments, and he he'll stand right up in front of in front of his legislature and admit to it uh, mm-hmm. that it should be legalized. And and uh, you know, as far as as far as the actors, they all come there at one time or another. Uh, in fact, uh, she wasn't there to party, but I had Carrie Fisher up there from Star Wars for three days a what couple weeks ago. There? What was she doing there? Wanted to do a movie. Oh, okay. And also okay, uh, Ernest different. Thompson, who wrote uh, On Golden Pond, was there about a month and a half ago for oh. the same purpose. Oh, for On Golden Blonde. On Golden Blonde. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> that sounds like something Ron Jeremy would appear be did appearing Jesse, in. Did Jesse Ventura always get different girls, or did he uh, stick with the same one? You know, I wasn't around there at that time, and you know, when, when Jesse, I didn't know, and it's been there 46 years, the Bunny Ranch has. I've owned it for, uh, for nine, uh, but I was there when Andy Kaufman was there partying all the time. And, and he must have been uh, Andy, a Andy was great. What fun he was. He loved the place. Did, no. he, have, did he have any strange requests? Fetishes? Well, yeah, he did. You know, he would come in there and, uh, in, in fact, his partner and, uh, and writer, and I think mean, Bob Zabuda is a good right. friend who was just up there a few weeks ago with Andy's ex-girlfriend. But uh, what, uh, what Andy would do is Andy would like to wrestle the girls. So, like, every couple hours he'd line all the girls up and, and uh, he'd act like he'd never seen them, pick out two, give them a, one a white leotard, one a black, and they'd wrestle each other and then uh, to figure out who got to wrestle him in the finals. But Andy would do this for days at a time, no liquor, no drugs, just wrestle the girls. But then he'd come in there as, as uh, Tony Clifton. Oh, no. And Tony Clifton liked to do everything. Tony, Tony Clifton loved oral sex. Tony Cl- Clifton would drink and hang out and be one of the guys, but he'd never break character. He'd be in there in full character, and he'd either be Andy or Tony, one or the other. Is there anything at the Bunny Ranch that is off limits? Is there any no-no? Is there anything yeah. taboo? Well, you have to be 18 to work there. And, uh, uh, of course, uh, it, it, we go by the same guidelines as the porn industry. You have to be 18 years old, no, no farm animals, things like that. And that's How basically old are the girls? It. How old are the girls? Uh, eight, 18 is minimum age. Uh, well, what is your range there? Yeah, what's the range? Well, eight, 18 to, to 48. Uh, we've got an old showgirl there from, from uh, the 48-year-old showgirl that actually banks. And you know who parties with her? The young boys. In fact, I had a big rock band that I can't, can't tell you about. was in there about a month ago that uh, the whole band partied with the same girl. And, oh, uh, the, God. Why would you do that? Why would you, you know, it, that's, a, that's a weird thing. I, I see that with bachelor parties. They'll come in and they'll, they'll spend a bunch of time. They'll talk to the different girls. And all of a sudden, they decide on who it is. And everybody wants to party with the same girl. Seems real crazy to me. But uh, that, it happens more often than, uh, than you can imagine. Where do you get multiple the rate there for the uh, multibang? Yeah, get the multibang discount, of course. And for a bachelor party, you, you, you need to do that. But, yeah, anything goes at the, at the Bunny Ranch. And it's just clean, safe sex. And uh, it, it's amazing how our business is growing. People are actually admitting to having sex nowadays. It's, it's amazing. It, it's good family fun. Good family fun. Good family fun. fun. Yeah, yeah, bring the whole uh, family. Uh, you know, speaking of families, it, it's, it's interesting because they, they, they have a board up there, and they keep track. And, and uh, of the virgins that come in. And it's usually about two a week. And sometimes it's the uncle that brings them in, the father, the mother. I, got, I was in a restaurant uh, with a lady from Newsweek magazine. Wait a minute. Uh, a mother brings her child in? Oh, yeah. Oh, how much yeah. pressure we, is that if you're the kid? Well, then, you know sick. what? How are you, how are you supposed to learn? Nobody ever taught yeah, me. Yeah, but... What are you, and make it instructional? Does mom sit there and go, okay, now yeah, this but, is the... Uh, all right, yeah. I mean, I understand what you're saying. Isn't it? I, I don't know if I can advocate a parent bringing their kid to a brothel. It happens, I, though. I, it, oh, I'm you know, sure it, it does. They, they'd know. rather do that and know that they're having safe sex uh, with a qualified professional than in the backseat of some car, uh, unprotected, and getting somebody pregnant. And that's the alternative. You know, that's why, that's why the rock bands, the big rock bands, can line girls up for a mile to have sex with them. But guess what? They get pregnant. They give them diseases. They call them the next day. Uh, the rock bands don't pay our girls to have sex call. with them. They pay them not to call them the next day. Well, that's the thing. I mean, people always wonder, why are these celebrities hanging out with, you know, hookers and stuff? It's, it's because they won't talk. It's not to have sex. It's to shut them up. I had National right. Enquirer off, offer me 30000 to burn somebody uh, three months ago. I was going to, yeah, I was going to say, you must get offered all the time for your client list. Exactly. Money, I, I right? got them all. And everybody comes to the Bunny Ranch. You know, if you, if, if you wonder where the celebrities and the rockers are having sex, guess what? You sit at the Bunny Ranch and you'll meet everybody on a weekend. Everybody you could possibly imagine comes through there. And uh, uh, the demand for sex is, is, a, is at an all-time high. The sex business is, is booming because of the Internet and all the 
the eight years of Clinton and his oral deal and all that. Yeah, he was. The, he uh, was everybody's the, doing it. He was the best advertisement for your business, man. I talk about well, a spokesperson. Well, yeah, it's, it's the fact that uh, he, he he should have been a spokesperson for the bunny ranch, especially about yeah, oral that's... sex, because you, you know what? The young girls don't believe that oral sex is sex, and it's 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 unbelievable. Ought to be that's, young that's, and naive. Yeah, yeah exactly we're, gonna, right. we're out of time, but thanks for the sex talk. Hey, it's Sex Talk anytime. Call me at the Bunny Ranch, 888-Bunny Ranch. Let's have some fun. Right. Thank you very much for your time. Dennis, Dennis over at the, at the Bunny Ranch. Good, clean okay. fun. The best of the morning. X. X. X.